What is going on guys? This is Gabe Jones for 100 coming back at you with another comparison video. This time we are comparing the Rebel and Resistance Trooper Battle Packs. So unfortunately I would be including the Hoth Rebel Trooper Battle Pack in this because I did get that set. But I took those uh, speeders apart to use them for other things. So I have the minifigures but not the vehicle. So unfortunately we'll be counting that out. I also wish of course that I had the OG Rebel, uh, Rebel Scout speeder set. But it is what it is. I'll compare what I have. So I'm sorry that it's been a while since I posted y'all. I've been at my two week uh, drill duty. But that's over. I'll be back to posting some videos before I go back to school in a few weeks. So without further ado, let's get right into this. Alright, so our first contestant is just the Rebel Trooper Battle Pack. This was from 2016-2017 when Rogue One released. So one thing I immediately say that I like about the minifigures in this set is the printing on their military uniforms. Like... Specifically these guys right here, you know, like, I have just never seen this on any, like, kind of trooper minifigure before, except maybe the Naboo guard, but, see, like, this guy, his helmet actually looks like a Kevlar, like a military helmet fit for a combat situation against Imperial troopers, and if you look closely again, like, you'll see there's little, you know, pouches right there, probably to hold rations, maybe even some grenades, and among other things and then on the back there's still a lot more detailed printing and the same thing here when you pull uh, this guy out you know you look close enough there's the there's like the zipper and the pouches and looks like he's actually carrying some electronic gear right there and you got the goggles on the helmet and everything else so just very nice details on those military fatigues now, of course, I'm going to have to give this set a downvote because of the vehicle. I mean, come on, y'all. I mean, I get it. It's reconnaissance. It's not supposed to be too heavily armed, but this was a little bit too tiny for my taste. But it is what it is. The speeder bike still does have at least a good color scheme. You know, a gray-green pattern to blend in with, I'm assuming, jungle environments. Obviously not fit in a desert planet, but on those kinds of environments, like the jungle and the forest... It would work perfectly, so I can give another vote for that, but eh, just a little bit too small for me. So let's move on to the next one. So coming in next, we got the Rebel Alliance Battle Pack. So this one also released at the same time as the Rebel Troopers Battle Pack, so I was able to pick up both of them actually on the same day, which was cool. But, or they released in like a few months of each other, I think, is what happened. But So right off the bat, I'm going to say I'm going to like these minifigure selection, or this minifigure selection a lot more. Because first off, we got we got a couple aliens in here. We got a Rodian, and I believe this is like the Duro species. Uh, this is the same species that the bounty hunter Cad Bane was from. So you see some of that same torso printing right there. You know, tan, the bandolier of ammunition across the chest. And you see that same details of the, you know, the pouches to hold gear and anything else. But, of course, the jet troopers, man. You can't go wrong with that. So I'm obviously going to give this a bigger upvote for minifigure selection because they put in the jet troopers. And I also like this jetpack design, just this little tile in the center right here. And it looks a bit more... It does look a bit more streamlined than the other jetpack pieces that you usually get in the sets. And I'm going to give this a bigger upvote for vehicle, of course, because... First off, you got, you know, a gun in the back. I modified this a bit. Originally, it was just going to be you put the weapon in there for the back gun, but... I modified it a bit, so you get a back turret, and then you just put your other pilot right there, and the jet tubers just fly along with the bike, so very practical in that sense. And you got the little detail of a control panel, so that's nice. And good color scheme, brown, gray. See, this one like is just the right size for me. Even if it maybe say you take out the back seat, it's still just the right size for me. So, bigger upvote on the vehicle and the minifigure selection. In playability, all these sets are going to rate the same because it's just stud shooters. But let's move on to the final contestant. So moving on to the final contestant, we got the Resistance Troopers Battle Pack. So I bought two Resistance Trooper Battle Pack or Resistance Troopers Battle Packs, and I modified the speeder to hold four infantry as opposed to just you know the driver and the gunner. So it holds six in total. But the speeder pretty much just looks like this, but just imagine it without the extended platform. So minifigure selection. So I will say that. As far as military uniforms and printing, all of these minifigures have uniformity, save for, of course, the vehicle gunner that has a slightly darker brown torso. But all of them have nice uniformity with the 
straps coming down from the shoulders with again like those little pouches to hold ammunition grenades rations whatever it may be you even got the same straps on the back like it honestly almost looks like a hook up to a parachute or something although i don't know if they use that that much in star wars and then of course right here you got the officer so this obviously looks a bit more like a field uniform as opposed to a formal ceremony uniform uh, right off the bat, I'm going to say I don't really get what the thing is with the belt like going through part of the shirt right there. I've never seen military uniforms like that, so that doesn't really seem realistic to me. And he doesn't have, you know, too much in the way of his uh, decoration, you know, as far as that rank insignia. So I'd say probably he's a first lieutenant or captain at most. But that is nice that you kind of get an officer in there to, so you don't just have, you know, four bland troopers. Again, you have an officer leading your men. And originally the way the speeder was, you just put in the driver and the gunner and the other two would just be hoofing it along beside the speeder. So I modify that a bit, just make it a bit more of a practical, com practical combat transport. You do have good playability on this vehicle in the sense that you've got the little stud shooter on the top. You can turn that, either replace that with a scope or maybe turn it into like a grenade launcher for the machine gun. So yeah, that concludes all the review and now we'll just put it up to the final tally. So, to finish it up, y'all, I'm going to have to say that the winner is going to have to go to the middle set right here, the Rebel Alliance Battle Pack. I like the detail of the officer in here and the fact that they put the stud shooter on the gun, but you can't go wrong with the Jet Troopers. I like how they have both the front and back defense. That's always a big plus for me. You got a good, you know, set of minifigures, especially the Aliens too, because that, in my opinion, just represents Star Wars really well in terms of the fact that, you know, the Empire did discriminate against Aliens. And they were just, you know, wanted to enslave everybody, whether you were human or Rodian or Duros you know, whatever it may be. So, again, I also did like the military details on his, like on this one, like these military style helmets. But winner's going to have to be this one. So, I know I said a while ago I'd be dropping my mini Venator tutorial. I'm sorry, y'all. I've been busy with work these past two weeks. And then these next few weeks, I got to get ready to go back to school and pack my bags for that. But that tutorial will be released either sometime this week or next week. Definitely before I go back to school so y'all can see how I made it. I have some other LEGO how-tos coming as well. So don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And turn those post notifications on. Follow me on Instagram at Gabriel.M267. And until then, I'll see y'all next time. Peace out.